and you may die, perhaps even rot away before my very eyes, but that will not help you. I can wait as long as it takes, long after those insatiable worms have finished their repulsive feasting. In the end, I will discover that secret thou hast been concealing from me since the first dusty cobweb appeared under the eaves of this home. And since the first... But for now, behave yourself. Can you not see we have a guest at our table? Sit down, sit down. Welcome to this humble table. My name is Castula. For that was what might is a great rarity these days for footsteps to echo through these lonely halls. What dost thou seek here? Dost thou crave the same fate that befell so many unfortunates? Yes. This manor is a wash. If only I could find the hiding place of my brother Trifon's manuscript. Perchance I might have at least one... How deluded you are! Did you think you could keep it from me any longer? Do not listen to this brother of mine, dear visitor. Do not believe his un...
Oh, sister, stern, terrible Castula, seekest not to deceive me with your detached expression, that serene indifference that becomes thee so well. I know you hear my words, even though the look you return to me arises from the depths. Welcome, visitor, to this table of reproach and intrigue. My name is Tri- Pay us no attention to my sister's words, nor her silences. It is by looking at our withered face one can sense- No, I am no longer interested in your confabulation. Thine understanding has long been governed by a dastardly imagination. I remember when you had that old blue-green headscarf. <laughs> it was so soft. If you held it now in thine hands, perchance you might cease with that constant accusation. You would never have lost it if, just for once, you had stopped rummaging through my affairs. Welcome to this palace. How silent, how mundane these luxurious chambers have been. Halls that were once frequented by the most distinguished of visitors. They all ended up staying here. Cap trapped, petrified like golden statues. Dance now with my steel, penitent one. We will... Onga!
be witness to this vigil before my final journey. I, Orospina, am the daughter of the looms, of the mantle of gold and fine silver and scarlet and white. Eldest sister of the confraternity of embroiderers, ancient seek where I go. Nought and my graceful steel will never again adorn the air, penitent one. You who come. Mas aquel ruego fue tan humilde y verdadero que el milagro, cuyas elevadas razones escapan siempre a nuestro entendimiento, despertó. Despertó allá donde quiera que se mantuviese dormido y conmovido por la dulce melodía de tan nobles súplicas, bendijo a esta pareja de fieles devotos, otorgándoles su deseado hijo. The warm and golden caress of twilight let the miracle cast open its black gates so I might venture to wear Penitent one, you have known the second of the regrets, and with the figure of the mother has descended, full of mercy. Anon, the upper part of the city, separated from the rest by the miracle's design, find the last guardian. <laughs> 